Hey, Miriam, it's nice to meet you and congratulations on your uh, role at uh, NextNav. Thank you, Steve. I'm here to transform our business uh, to solve a very um, important problem, and that is a national security concern that we have about a backup and complement to GPS. Well, it, it, that's a very uh, topical issue, obviously. And uh, my understanding of NextNav is that you're working on a a ground-based or terrestrial uh, PNT service, uh, which could complement and back up GPS to avoid really a disastrous situation if GPS went down. First of all, what is PNT? What does PNT stand for? PNT stands for Positioning, Navigation, and Timing. And these positioning and timing references are extremely, extremely important and work across not only our daily use of finding maps and getting to places, but it's also in our critical infrastructure. It's uh, used by emergency responders. It's in our water supplies, electric grids, financial institutions, data centers. So uh, how would you complement GPS using PNT? So first of all, let's talk about what are the vulnerabilities of GPS. It is space-based. It's served by satellites. One of the things that satellites have a vulnerability as, besides being satellites, is the fact that by the time that their signals get to Earth, they become really weak. So it's very, it becomes extremely easy to disrupt them, jam them, and spoof them. A terrestrial level signal is much stronger, and it overcomes all these vulnerabilities of jamming and spoofing. Jamming is happening everywhere due to various reasons. In any country, this is happening. And sometimes it's even unintentional jamming. Tell us about the solution. How does it work? GPS is a free service, um, so it becomes extremely difficult to compete with the free service on a monetization scale, right? And then the second is what technology. So what we did is we're leveraging 5G. 5G has a standards-based signal called a positioning reference signal, or PRS, that can be used to then compute positioning and timing data that is needed. And then basically what we're saying is that because it's economically hard to do a just a positioning-based wide-scale terrestrial network, let's take our spectrum assets, which NextNav has. We have incredible spectrum it's in 900 megahertz. It's below one gigahertz. It's very scarce and limited across the world. Um, and it penetrates walls and buildings. And so it's got great coverage characteristics. Let's take that spectrum. Let's make it viable for 5G. Okay. So an operator builds it and uses it for the broadband pipe. And then we enable that PRS signal and take that and provide positioning and timing. So it becomes innovative in the sense that you're not only using a technology that's very wide scale and it's used commercially all over the world, but you're also solving the economics problem because the spectrum is what is going to incentivize 5G operators to build this for broadband use. So we need an update of the rules, which is why we're working with the Federal Communications Commissions in the US, with the FCC, and we've been working this last year with them to get those rules updated. Do you have to work with uh, the regulatory authorities around the rest of the world in order for this to, to work, though? Well, we, we are now solving the problem for the United States, but we would love to partner with globally, with anyone who's interested to come and partner with us to solve this problem internationally as well. And what is your hope as far as the timing for your program and getting the regulatory approval just to solve the problem in the United States? And then on the commercial side of it, how would you monetize uh, what you're doing? Would you monetize uh, or, or would the, uh, uh, the new layer of uh, positioning uh, ride for free over the new 5G capacity which you're enabling? How does it work as far as a business? It's very hard to monetize on um, competing with a free service, which is GPS. 
monetization plan is going to very much rely on uh, broadband capabilities, and we will be working through our partners and the FCC to identify how can we make PNT available as a backup and complement? But we first have to go through this first step of getting the spectrum rules updated. Are you optimistic, Marian? I'm extremely optimistic. I come to work with a passion every day. The mission to solve a national security concern, it gives me that purpose, incredibly smart team. We've got incredible spectrum assets. We've got incredible technology. And we're doing this in the United States with a proposal with no taxpayer dollars. Well, thank you, Steve. And I want to just leave you with this thought that as we're going through all these Mobile World Congress evolutions and seeing all this great technology, you know, that I was all part of 5G, then to 6G, Open RAN, Edge, and now AI. Um, I think that's amazing, and I'm so happy to see the evolution. But I just want to remind everyone that we, in order for all of these technologies, all of these innovations to be successful, we need to make sure our fundamentals are there intact. And positioning, navigation, and timing is a fundamental to many of these innovations. So It sounds like you're really on a mission there, and it, thank you for talking to us today about this.